Yo, what's up, man? It's J Blair, J Dash B L E V, as in victorious. We in here with Making It Magazine. Gotta tell y'all about the big hookup there, and they put me on, man. You'll understand soon, and you're gonna wanna be a boy. I was down here, man, basically getting my grind on, going to every club, trying to get my feet wet out here in Georgia. Uh, came across the magazine. The magazine was everywhere, to be honest with you, man. I mean, online. They had the, the social media, and on top of that, I used to see the magazines everywhere. And I set up. It's a long story. I, I was one of the artists that procrastinated. I ain't gonna lie about it, man. I knew that it was a membership that would get you where you need to be, get you the connects that you needed to get with, man. But I was procrastinating, you know, feeling myself. And once I actually figured out it, what it was, man, that's when I was like, it's perfect. I had to get down. I had to get a subscription. One time I tried to pay him out of the pocket, man, and he wouldn't even take it because he wanted to do it professionally. So to all the trappers with all the money in your pocket, man, you can't just run up on them and throw them some dollars and say, sign me up, man. It's real. You got to be about your business, man. So. I mean, the subscription actually took me up through there, man, so it was, it, was, it was worth it. So check this out. So I'm just browsing. Of course, you got to do your homework when you're online. And I happen to see this one thing about a future show. So I'm like, okay, I just dropped this Lost and Found. I'm pretty sure his fans going to love it. Let me see what's, what it's about. Come to find out, Making a Magazine actually had a slot open where you can audition for free. Uh, so I happen to I happen to say, man, you know what? I'm gonna sign up soon because I realize it needs a subscription, man. And and I've been BSing all this time. It's that time to get it. So you know what I mean? That's when I went ahead and signed up for. When I signed up, I submitted the song, and the rest is history, man. But anyway, I was at work. Two hours left on my shift. About two, three hours left on my shift, right? So I'm in that mug, man, working. Boom, boom, boom. I get this phone call, and Kelly picked up. You know, at first I picked up in my professional voice because I didn't know what was up, man. He's like, keep the professional voice on. Let's get it. So he ended up telling me, yo, I need you at Apache in like in ASAP. And at this point, I'm still like, damn, I got like three, two, two, three le hours left on my shift. Still like, even though you got somebody to work for you, that ain't it. That ain't enough, you know. So if you leave, just understand you're getting the right up. At that point, I was like, man, I take that right up, you know what I mean? Because that's not, I'm not put on earth to work a nine to fives. I mean, that was the best call I could have got all day, man. You, you got to understand, when I when he told me that, I'm looking at the phone, and I'm looking at the schedule, and I'm looking at the phone, I'm looking at the schedule, man, and I was like, look, I got to take that right up, man. We out of here. I'm still in the shock of uh, of being of getting that phone call from my main man, Kelby, shout out to Making Magazine, man. Flying through the lanes, you know, in and out the lanes, pushing 80, 90, I don't care about the ticket, man. We got to get to the show. I get there. He's like, buddy's out there on his phone already talking it up, chopping it up like, boom, it's, it's in the bag already. Like, I already picked the winner. Okay, perfect. You're on next. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the last person to actually do the show. So I walk up on stage, DJ recognize who I am. He already like, it's about to be crazy and bananas. You know what I'm saying? And I rocked it. I put my heart and soul into it, sweating everything. And come to find out, I was the last act, but I was the act they was looking for. And I won, man. And hey, if you'd have said you'd have been fired, man, I'm put on earth for this music, dog. So the opportunity knock, you gotta take it. So I get a phone call. I'm in my robe. I'm off work. You know what I'm saying? I get I get the phone call. Like so, the future show got pushed back. It's it's gonna be around June, you know. But I got another show coming up April 15th. It's got Meat Meal, Jada Kiss, and K Camp on there. You know, I, I was weighing an option out. Like, I gotta call my manager first. Let me make this phone call to my manager, and then we'll call you back. I already had my mind made up when I called my manager that, yo, we can't wait till June. Life's not promised. I might not even be alive in June. So, let's do April 5th. You know what I'm saying? I made the phone call. My manager was on board. He was like, let's do it. I told him to call Unknown back, man. I was like, we gotta get this show New York. First time being in New York. We gotta do it. And he, he locked it in. First thing he did is he sent me an uh, itinerary with the, with the plane ticket, man. Now, that's when you knew it was real right there. At that point, it's like all the BS that you went through with these janky promoters and this, that, and the other telling you they can sell you a dream. And then you get that plane ticket and you know it's real. And, hey, man, from that point on, we, we was out of here. And then after that, I found out where I was going to be staying at. He paid for the hotel and everything, man. So it wasn't a joke, man. I know y'all go through a lot of BS out there, man. But just keep going. Just keep going, man. And trust God and trust your notions, man. The omens, as the alchemists say. You read that book, too. When I got there, I, I mean, you got to think 
Rochester, New York, man, I, I didn't know what to expect, you know what I mean? My manager had found out, did his research about the venue. We found out it was hardcore. At one point, gunshots even rang in that mug, so you had to come in and be on your old P's and Q's or they probably was gonna boo you, man. So, and then I get there and I'm looking at it empty and just as quick as I was looking at it empty and they started letting people in, it packed out. 23,000 people in there, man. Like, you see that many people, I mean like like shoulder to shoulder, like no room to do all of this, you know what I'm saying? It's just, they, they was just in, in right there, eye to eye, face to face. They was just loving it, you know what I mean? They was enjoying every moment. They, they rocked with you for a second and then they would put their hands down and just watch you and listen to your words and to have that type of attention. You know, as artists, man, we sensitive about our stuff anyway, so... You know what I'm saying? So when when that opportunity came about and you see them like you looking in their they eyes and they looking back at you and they they listening to every word, man. Like it it was it was nothing like that. And then what was crazy about that is I'm thinking because they ain't doing all of this that you know maybe they ain't into it like I thought. But when I got off stage, the 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 response was like one cat even said, man, to me you like a B.O.B. but more lyrical. You put on for the South tonight. He asked for my Twitter, he asked for my autograph, he asked to take a picture, and he said, keep doing what you're doing. So that right there let me know that I put on a hell of a show. We're put on Earth for, in, in the words of the alchemist, a personal legend. We're not put on Earth to, to get caught up and work at McDonald's or Walgreens or not even to get caught up in a rat trap of making 30000 100000 a year on a job. We're put on Earth for a particular reason that is going to push the universe ahead. You know what I'm saying? So when you have that opportunity, focus on it. That's all I ask. Just focus on it, man. Put your all into it. Put them 10,000 hours into it. You know what I'm saying? And just keep going, man. And when opportunities knock, you got to be prepared to take it. Making a magazine was that opportunity, man. And, and, and Artist Audition was that opportunity, man. And because of it, not only did I get my flight taken care of and my hotel taken care of, but I was out there in front of 4.3 thousand people with Meat Mill, K Camp, and Jada Kiss. Shout out to everybody out there, Meta Gang, MIP Entertainment, man. I just wanna get lost and find a double shot of my cold. Smoke a hell of weed with my thoughts. I just wanna get lost and find a double shot of my cold.